Welcome back to week two of performance reviews where I go over the past weeks worth of content, tell you about the viewership and basically tell you whether we're not keeping or if we're dropping a show. Let's start it. First video. Uh, it's a bit too early to tell anything, but Dangers in My Heart is a project we just started because Last Crusade fell off so hard. Let's look at Dangers in My Heart, right? Let's go over here. Look at this. And the performance, it's pretty damn good. It's on the upper end of viewership right now, meaning the first two hours of upload, it's projected to hit 570 to 950 range. 995 is definitely the upper, right? This is not an exceptional number. I was hoping that maybe we would get bailed out like Roshidere, right? Hit those crazy ass numbers because like, you know, it's a rom-com. Roshidere is popping up. That's a rom-com audience. Maybe there's some bigger overlap, but... It's not the exceptional, but it's definitely above average, and I hope that it can be consistent. I'm actually going to do two Dangers in My Heart episodes tonight, as well as probably, I don't know, we're, we're, we're really going to gear up and try to get this shit pumped out fast as we can, so we can go on to some other projects like ReZero that's pending. So Dangers in My Heart, fantastic. Tower of God, what more do I have to say about Tower of God, man? Tower of God is just so good every time. And I guess it's due to the fact that, and look at this, right? Average range 730 to 1.3, but we're hitting 1.5. It's just it's just peak Tower of God content. My audience resonates with it. I try to really pour my heart and soul into understanding the lore and being locked into the plot. I think that you guys can appreciate that I'm trying hard, and this is the result of that, right? Even oh, fun fact, fun fact, Doctor Bonehead. You know Doctor Bonehead, Tower of God guy. He actually knows that we reacted to his content. He gave us a shout out. Dr. Bonehead, at a certain point in this, I visited his stream last night and we talked about it. Did, did he have a community post? He commented in one of my videos. Let's see. Did he talk about me here on a community post or was it just all comment section? I think it was just comment section. I need to show you the comment though to prove that I'm not crazy, okay? Because if I just say this shit without showing proof, you guys are not going to believe me. I believe it was on one of the Tower God videos down here. Probably the biggest changes, I think. We come down here. Where is he? Doc- Ah! You see this shit? Ah, fuck. I zoomed in too much. God damn it. It was right there, though. It was right there. Fuck. Right over here. You guys see this shit, right? So crazy to seeing these old videos of mine again. What's crazier is that he got facial hair now, though. But Dr. Bonehead! He's out there making type TOG content. He saw us, guys. Oh, wow. Senpai noticed me. All right. Tower of God's doing pretty decent. Absolutely. It's de it's definitely on the up, up upper trend. Now, raising children, uh, there is probably going to be a problem with this anime. And this is expected. I don't think that this show was exceptional from the beginning. It was just average. And upon the first almost five hours of upload, we're already behind, right? We're already minus 200 right now. And it's... When I'm doing weekly seasonal animes, I'm not looking for average. I'm looking for exceptional or above average because for every one of these below average or average videos that we pump out, is a slot taken away from a series like SAO or More Dangerous in My Heart. I do not want to focus on mediocre. Those mediocre slots needs to be given to the community series to keep this, you know, operation going. So this will probably be dropped next week if it's going to continue with this projection. It makes sense though. It makes a lot of sense because First episode again. First two episodes, they dropped in a batch. Everyone wants to check out what the new hype is about that anime, but it turns out no one actually cares about it. They get filtered out and then moves on. Always the first episode's gonna do well. If the first episode doesn't even do well, it's already failed. And this is just one of those animes that unfortunately is like that. The rev videos, honestly, are very bad. <laughs> it's... I... I think it is still worth farming these videos. You need to create an audience from scratch. And I know that there's a lot of overlap in what Rev covers in my audience in terms of VTuber and anime content and stuff like that. There's a lot of Crunchyroll news. So I will continue to do it. So that's why I'm deciding to pump these videos out despite them doing pretty bad. Wistoria, 2.5k after 14 hours. Just fucking peak, right? Wistoria is just on another level. Same with Tower of God. Well, no. Roshidere is on another level. These are like... These are like tier 1. Roshidere is like tier 0. So after... The first 14 hours, it's hitting 2.5k, 
plus 400 from the expected range and plus 500 honestly from the expected range and it just makes sense right you guys enjoy this shit i enjoy this shit we're just we're having a great time i love this show i'm glad that it's doing well i'm glad that it's getting the viewership that it deserves even the opening and ending did all right now <laughs> last crusade bro how the fuck did a video about Last Crusade, me dropping the fucking video, it did better than, you know, the videos itself? Let's look at Last Crusade, bro. Holy shit, it did so bad. <laughs> okay, so here is the Last Crusade video where everything just started to fall apart. Like, oh boy. Like, and it makes sense because no one actually voted Last Crusade in. Last Crusade was second place in the most recent community poll. And I thought about brute forcing it just because second season was airing this season and just trying to experiment. The first couple episodes were again expected to do well because everyone wants to check out the newest thing. But it turns out that people actually don't give a fuck and it falls off. So it's just, you know, that's the expected behavior. I don't give a fuck about season two reactions either because if an, if an audience for season one reaction doesn't exist, neither does a season two. Don't get it fucking twisted. Don't try to fucking backseat on me on why it fell off. I know exactly why it fell off. It's not because season two is fucking trending. Literally fucking use the YouTube search engine and try to find a Last Crusade season two reaction. There is none. And even if there are, there's no fucking viewership. It's simply audience does not give a fuck about this show. And even if they exist, it's definitely not my audience. It's not in my best interest to continue. Dropped for the sake of dangers in my heart. But <laughs> how the fuck is this video going to do even better, bro? <laughs> the fucking video because like I was so mad that last crusade fell off I'm like you motherfuckers you never actually cared about last crusade so I'm like you know what I'm at least make one last video to milk this show for what it's got and recover some of the views that was lost on the fucking the past two videos so you know I did an update basically just told you exactly what I just said <laughs> it does so well why because this is content that anyone can watch right even if you don't watch last crusade this is like accessibility a barrier to entry like there is none. Anyone can click on this and just watch it and figure out what's going on, right? So that's what's happening here. All right. The <laughs> HSR drip marketing video, not as well as I expected, but I didn't hit the search engine because I was late to it. But still the decent. I'm not fine with it. Chibi video reactions are actually kind of doing better in Rev. I'm surprised because there's probably a little bit more focus on anime related content, right? Another red video. Me just fucking baiting with dangers in my heart here, right? Just preparing it. I'm like, shit, views. Your views are going down. I need to, you know, bust out my magic stash of fucking content creation and just pump out a fucking video out of nowhere. So I made this 51 second clip just updating you guys that we're going to start watching dangers in my heart. Lolly leveling fell off so fucking hard. And a same example of uh, raising children isekai. First couple episodes did amazing. They didn't really do amazing, but it definitely did above average. But as soon as the first couple episodes were done, episode one and two dropped in a batch. Episode three just so flat, so flat on its face, right? It's just like, come on, man. What the fuck is going on here? One point, it's like minus 200 right now. We're not looking for average. We're not looking for mediocre. This kind of slots are immediately dropped and given to community series priority. Lolly leveling dropped. It is what it is. Next, we have Makain heroin the cucked girls right this did well as expected it's the first episode of a series so it's anticipated to do well in fact it's doing you know 60 percent better than it should be so that's good that's good but again it really doesn't matter how well the first episode does because people are going to get filtered out starting next week and the week after that that will determine the true baseline viewership and if that's going to be mediocre i will drop it in a fucking heartbeat but for now it's doing all right. It's doing pretty good. First episode, honestly, maybe mad, but it was still good content at the end of the day. Elusive Samurai, I think, is the next uh, anime, and it's doing all right. I'm just a little bit disappointed. I'm just a little bit disappointed because friend in the channel, Baldi, aka Freshest Anime, is popping the fuck off with this show, and that's the reason why I even picked this up. I talked to Joe about it. Joe has a very smart strat of incorporating AI technology to get the JP subs in. And if you look at the audience tab, not just mine, but Joe's as well, the top geographies in Japan, because it makes sense. It's a Japanese historical show, right? So it just makes sense how, you know, a show about Japanese history is going to have a big Japanese audience. So him having those AI JP subs probably is helping a lot, but I don't think it's the determining factor. He's obviously was early on it. He captured the, he anchored the main audience for Elusive Samurai. So Congrats on him. For me, it's perfectly fine. This is just through community effort alone. And even among those Japanese viewers, 
There's actually ugh, the chart hasn't shown up yet, but it's actually not that many tourists. A lot of females are watching this too. Interesting, be probably because it has showed up, but it's all right. You know, Elusive Samurai is doing all right. It's it lives to see another day. Now, nobody remembers me. Nobody remembers me. Did pretty decent. It was not an exception. But it definitely did better than expected for a first video. But again, every first episode of a new series is going to do well, right? 3.1k projected in an area of 1.4 to 2.2k. We're like plus 1.1k, right? This is fantastic, for sure. And if you look at the audience as well, I think these are mostly um, community members. Unfortunately, it hasn't updated this chart yet. It's going to take a little bit longer, but uh, what's it called? How about if I do this? First 24 hours, will it show anything? No, it won't. A lifetime, will it show anything? No, I won't. I'll like to show the returning viewers in the new viewers chart too, because this really shows like who the tourists are and who are not. Anytime you have a high number of new viewers coming in, those are tourists usually found your channel through YouTube search engine or sometimes through the recommendation systems, but returning viewers is the bulk of the viewership here and it did okay. It did fine. Let's just hope that, you know, it's going to continue to do well. Uh, <laughs> again, Last Crusade start to fall off immediately. Last Crusade start to fall off so fucking hard. Is there a way to view, view my stream VODs after I get deleted on Twitch? Go to Patreon, dumbass. Next video. This is Chibi Video. This is the 3.5x speed one, right? The 3.5x speed. This is a very interesting topic. Of all the Chibi Videos, this one did the best because I think it's an actual topic that a lot of people care about. Like, when I heard that Giga watches anime in 2x speed, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you actually fucking kidding me? What the fuck would you watch anime in 2x speed? But if you think about it, you know, it's it's job for him, right? It's not for the sake of entertainment. It's just, it's for the sake of productivity. So he's trying to cover as many animes as possible so that he can give his opinion on that anime. But but the opinion on those animes fucking suck when he makes those tier lists. And I'll be there to farm every fucking seasonal anime from him, bro. But uh, yeah, that, that chibi video was actually pretty good. S A O. Yuki has super eight. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers for those that hasn't watched Dangerous uh, Rose Mothers Rosea. SAO reactions are back. And this is a video that was recorded. Like, when did this shit get uploaded? This shit literally got uploaded like two months ago. SAO, despite taking a long hiatus, whenever you have a community series, whenever you have a show that people have been watching for a while on your channel, then you have a hiatus. You have like a gap. And you try to return later on. Sometimes they fail because all the interest has just died off. But SAO, I was confident that the community was strong. And we were already watching, you know, season one on our channel in the movie or now scale as well. And I think that my gamble kind of paid off. There was a lot of detours I was taking. The reason SAO got delayed was because of other projects like Power of God, I need to get rushed in. And then there was also different scheduling with different weekly series that we're trying to figure out. And unfortunately, SAO got benched, but we were, we were at a point where we finished Ordinal Scale on Patreon and Twitch and we're like, you know what, before we start on Season 3 and before we end Mother's Rosaria, which I think we'll do no, good no matter what, I can cover all these different topics and bounce back ends. Hey, it's still there. That gamble worked and thank you for tuning in. I know that these, you know, SAO episodes are probably not the most exciting. Everyone's basically waiting for Season 3 upload. Season 3 upload is actually already over here. Actually, this is episode four over here, actually. I haven't... <laughs> There's a lot of videos that I have privated that haven't gone up yet, but it's all scheduled. But yeah, that's what's going on with SAO. Fucking Last Crusade mid. Last Crusade mid. Any news video? It's all right. Nokotan! I have decided that every Nokotan video, I will have this title. And I'll just upload the integer every time. It'll be part three next time. I am gonna be so lazy with because like I was trying to think of a title and I'm like fuck I don't know maybe just like this same meme title will be funny and lazy at the same time let's look at the analytics for Nokutan Shika Nokutan is also switched to Fridays now yes we are going to be using the AI subs I wanted to check out all the because everyone's talking about Crunchyroll and the woke localizers and the rise of the AI subs and I want to see for myself just how bad or how good is it I honestly could not tell the difference could any of you guys tell the difference in a Nokotan video? Maybe if you're actually Japanese speaking, maybe you could tell the difference. But for the vast majority of people, I think it was perfectly fine. In fact, I think it exceeded expectations. There was not a single point where I was like, I'm not understanding what's going on. Everything made sense to me. The AI subs even gave extra context on Japanese um, puns, wordplay, or different references that I didn't get about like fucking red bean bun and shit like that. Nokotan is just exceptional. Absolutely fucking exceptional. If you look at the audience, a lot of returning viewers, a decent amount of new viewers, it's not as high, obviously. 
but there is a big interest for Nokotan. Obviously, we're getting bailed out by it. I do not consider Nokotan a series that I earned, though. I do not consider Roshidere or Nokotan as a series that I earned. I am getting bailed out by the trend. I would consider Tower of God a series that I earned, though. I would consider these other shows, even Dangerous in My Heart or any other show, a series that I earned through community effort. Because there's like no tourists there. But trends like this, man. Trends like this just bails a channel out from time to time. And for sure, it's nice to, you know, get a lot of viewership. But what this does to a lot of content creators is that they have no understanding. Like a lot of new channels, a lot of, a lot of channels that aren't, don't obsess about analytics like me, have no understanding how the YouTube algorithm works. And whenever, like, Nokotan is probably popping off for their channels as well. Same with Roshi today. But as soon as the season ends, their viewership is going to go down. And they're going to think that the algorithm dropped them. They're going to think that the world is unfair. Where did all my views go? But it was as simple as, you got lucky that there was a huge audience seeking this specific content out. And if you're not able to capitalize on that new viewership and turn those tourists into community members, your channel will die with the fucking trend that died later on. That's why a lot of channels just cannot find any growth because they have no understanding of the audience or the algorithm. They treat the views as all the same when in fact you have to understand, is this returning audience? Is this my community? Or is this a separate audience that's found my channel through these trends that I'm getting bailed out? I know that my channel is getting bailed out right now. I know my expectations are maintained. That's why I can continue without really being depressed and crying about viewership because, you know, it's all part of the math. The Neil Decide drama video. It did all right. Sometimes you got to farm the drama videos, right? Let's see how the drama video did, actually. Drama video. I got some subs off of it. That's funny. <laughs> Who are the audience that watched me? Was it tourists? No, nah, it's all returning viewers, right? A lot of people, obviously, a lot of the anime reaction space, all the big boys kind of like share a similar audience. And I think that I do share an audience with Neil Desai for sure, right? A lot of it from subs, like, why the fuck would you listen to about, you know, a drama about a separate channel if you don't know about them? It is completely sad. It is completely sad that there is these fucking losers that want only one anime reactions. And as soon as the content creator drops it, because the vast majority didn't even want that reaction, the viewership started to die off. Those specific monkeys are so selfish and will then say the most bullshit thing about like, oh, you're just chasing the views. You don't care about this anime. You know, you're so selfish and all you care about is money. And while there is some truth about me chasing viewership and money, it's also a byproduct of me understanding what my audience wants and giving what they want. These monkeys are specific monkeys that only wanted 86 reactions and nothing else. You are literally not my target audience. You're not Neil's target audience. You're just selfish retards that's crying because your favorite show got dropped and you don't care about the vast amount of other people that were waiting on different series every time an 86 reaction happened. This is my stance on any time people are going to cry about anime reaction channels dropping an anime. Shut the fuck up. We are doing the most selfless thing possible by adhering to what the greater community wants and understanding that and delivering. The money, the views are a byproduct of giving your audience what they want. And if you can't understand that, like you're just selfish, you have no understanding of how this shit works, you shouldn't even be allowed to comment. No one should have to hear your fucking stupid opinion. This Echidna Crunchyroll video did pretty bad because this is like the fourth fucking video. <laughs> Where we're hearing the same fucking opinion about Crunchyroll, you know, it makes sense. Giji Hotem! Let's look at Giji Hotem video over here. Giji Hotem is doing pretty decent. It's doing pretty decent. The rom com audience does exist. If you look at the returning viewers compared to the new viewers, not a many tourists. It's all just community effort. And this is a series that I would say that I've earned. Anytime you have. A chart like this where it shows literally no new people coming in a very insignificant insignificant amount but the bulk of the viewership and it does above average it means that i am satisfying the youtube algorithm meaning i'm satisfying my existing audience they want to watch this shit i give it to them it's just that simple next anime we have stepsis three days ago 3.3k views and this was quite interesting I thought that Stepsis would fall off, just like Lolly Leveling and just like um, Raising Kids. You know, after first episode, it's a viral topic. It's like, oh my god, is this an incest anime? Everyone wants to check out the first episode, right? And then they get filtered out because it might not have been the anime that they were expecting. But, but, it's doing really well. It's exceeding expectations. It's above average. It's doing extremely well. It's earned its spot. Look at the audience. See, I earned this. This is all returning viewers. It's all community effort alone. 
Glad that Stepsis is doing well. I thought that people wouldn't like Stepsis reactions due to the nature of how slow it was, but an audience does exist, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, this is the, the, start, the start of the downfall of Last Crusade, by the way. The moment that Miss Miss starts to get shown in the thumbnail, start, shit starts to go downhill. <laughs> Sad. All right, failure frame. One second. I gotta refresh this fucking browser. Wait a moment, sir. Let me show you this. Let's look at failure frame. Failure frame is doing very well. Absolutely. Another example where it's doing above average, but if you look at the audience tab, no new viewers coming in or little to none. All community effort. Makes sense, right? It's an isekai show that everybody fucking loves in my channel because our channel is all about trash isekais. A CGI in this shit is fucking annoying. But it's not so bad that I can't enjoy the show. The main character is... He cooked me. First half, I thought he was a pussy. Second half, whoops. He got us. CGI frame. Yeah, this show is living up to this name. Fucking failure frame perfectly. Next, we have... Perry Enemy. And Perry Enemy is... Holding on. It's for sure holding on. It's just not getting the numbers that I hopes. This is, I think, average. I think this ballpark number is basically, it's not the floor. It's like slightly above average, right? It's literally just in the middle part of the expected range where, you know, it can be between 1.7K to 4K within this three days and 16 upload, you know, compared to other videos. It's doing all right. And um, I hope that we don't have to drop this. I genuinely enjoy the concept of this anime. If we look at the audience, I think it's all just community members as well. That's right. Just like that. So it's doing all right. It's just doing okay. <laughs> I want you guys to look at this. 6.4 thousand videos on Natlan Genshin Impact drip, drip marketing. And focus on the dislike to likes bar. Ready? I got 136 dislikes on this. To 258 likes. I got almost ratioed. But, hold up, let me show you something, because this is fake. This is the Dislike extension, which is a third-party software on a Chrome browser to scrape data through YouTube API and uncover the dislikes. But, but, let me show you what the true dislike bar is. Right over here. You see this right over here? This says 259 likes. 38 dislikes, 87.2%. It's pretty bad still, honestly, regarding the amount of dislike ratio. If you have more than 10% dislikes, like people are kind of upset about the video. And the reason why this one has a bigger number is because these got brigaded. These likes are not real. What are you gonna believe? An extension number or the actual fucking YouTube analytics telling me that I got 30 dislikes on this? What happened here is that right now in Hoyoverse, there's a huge drama of a bunch of mentally ill social justice warriors that are mad that Natlan doesn't have any dark-skinned waifus. And I simply gave a take saying, listen, Hoyoverse isn't racist. Hoyoverse simply looks at data and they see that light-skinned waifus make more money on average compared to dark-skinned waifus. And that's why majority of the people in Natlan, even though it's supposed to represent South America, the continent, that's why everyone's so light-skinned. This is not a racist decision. This is a corporate greedy decision based off of data-driven analysis. Some people just can't handle the truth. And there's a lot of really, really radical left-leaning people who are so triggered by this concept and will hate Brigade and try to get fraudulent likes. But that's why these likes were not tallied up here because these were fucking just Brigaded bots. Those are ingenuine likes. I feel so bad for actual Hoyoverse creators. I'm not sure how many times... I'm not sure um, if you guys follow Hoyoverse, you know, Genshin Impact content creators, but... There's a lot of drama. A lot of content creators are switching games or deciding to do something else. They fucking hate the community. It's a fucking ratchet cesspool of soft little children that has no understanding of how the real world works and is just mentally ill. That's what happens when you fucking create a game panned around kids. ZZZ is probably going to do the same shit too, but that's what's happening. But hey, I'm going to still fucking farm my views. 6.4k? Fuck you, pussy. I'm going to get those views for myself and fuck off. This one did all right, right? Red video? I mean, red videos regarding topics around anime is going to do well. It's just red videos around topics around some other stuff doesn't do well. I wanted to get into VTuber, VTuber drama shit, but it's not doing it. Eh. This... <laughs> this is, again... 
you know me, I'm always trying to figure out how can I farm more views. And I've decided I've created another method where weekly, instead of just tier list, I can make a performance review video going through each video and analytics and talking about stuff like that for people that's interested. In. And a decent amount of people are interested, right? Maybe they got baited by Roshidere, right? Maybe they got baited by Roshide Alia. For sure, the title was described in such a way that it's going to, you know, I can't believe how Roshide is carrying, right? So I'll probably title this video saying some shit like, I cannot believe Roshide is carrying again or some shit, but like, you know, it is actually exceptional. Let's see. Audience, obviously, it's just going to be my audience, right? Yeah. I mean, if I gain seven subs from a performance review video, like, I think I'm doing something right and people actually do care. Call, I have a question. Say when you upload a new anime and get a bunch of new viewers, when you upload a second episode, does those new viewers count as returning viewers? Absolutely. If people have checked out your channel and watched your video, that counts as a returning viewer. Yes. A new viewer is literally a version that's never even talked or even seen or clicked on a video. Uh, all right. What do we have next? Now we have the freak of nature. We have the fucking freak of nature. Roshidere. Sometimes there are some animes that just are on a league of its own. Some, some of those animes in the past that bailed me out were Classroom of the Elite, The Eminence in Shadow, right? These are exceptional anime. Back in January, Solo Leveling did really good, right? There is these exceptional anime. And this month, this season, it is a rom-com anime. I cannot believe a rom-com anime can hit this kind of number. But it's not just rom-com. I think that there's an etchy element too. The reason why 100 Girlfriend did really well, I think is also the reason why Roshidere is doing really well. But it's compared to some other rom-coms where it's a lot more soft, rom, drama related, doesn't really do well. I don't know. People just really love Roshidere. Let's find out what's going on. Let's see it. 7.9 times higher than usual. Like, that's fucking stupid. It's genuinely fucking stupid how well this anime does. And if we look at the right hand bar of how this distribution of viewership was done, I'm going to search by lifetime and see where the split of videos were from. You can see that the bulk of videos, if you look at the reach, where is the YouTube search engine? Right? And I'm showing this because of retards that keep telling me that you need to be fucking early. You need to show up in the search engine if you want your videos to do well. While there may be some truth into tapping into tourists and trying to anchor yourself in the search engine by being first, what really matters is does your core audience cares about it or not? And if they do, the bulk of the audience viewership doesn't even come from the search engine. Look at this. 64.6% .6 came from browse features. Browse features is simply what it says here. Traffic from the home page or home screen, right? When you open up, when you open up a home page of YouTube, what do you see? You get a bunch of videos recommended, right? This is browse features. I might click on an Asmongold video. This is a browse feature video for him. A suggested video could be something along the lines of on the sidebar, right? Browse features actually can be over here too. This is browse features, all the recommended videos, right? And simply by understanding the recommendation system and understanding who your audience is, you can really use the recommendation system to pop off. But this is something I have no control over, you know? 90.8% of YouTube recommending my content, right? Or the viewership. Look at this shit. YouTube recommending my content on my homepage, on my watch page. This is why you don't need a YouTube search engine. In fact, if you're trying to get... This is interesting, actually. A lot of the views actually came from external sites and webs, Facebook and Google search. It's actually so interesting how counterintuitive this all is because it's like, well, I thought that people would find videos through YouTube search engine. I used to think like that too. But if you need to rely on people finding your videos through the YouTube search engine, you're already doing content creation wrong on YouTube. You've already failed. Now, there may be different circumstances on different niches. For example, you're trying to find a specific guide on a specific model of a car. You're trying to find a guide on a specific review of an air conditioner. Those are very specific videos. For sure, YouTube search engine is going to help out. But for the vast majority of people, search engine is not a significant factor of viewership. And I'm not sure if I should show you this. I'm going to leak DMs from Freshest Anime. Should I? No, I think this is fine. This is not even bad. This is Freshest Anime's viewership. This is Freshest Anime's viewership splits for the uh, Elusive Samurai. Look at this shit. 
yes, there is a lot from YouTube search engine. Sometimes you get a combination of search engine and recommendation, but you can still see that recommendation system still gets way more views compared to search engine, right? This is what happens when you understand your audience and can pump up videos that your audience wants. Recommendation system is the bulk of viewership on most people's videos. And sometimes a search engine is good for very specific tourist kind of content. But again, recommendation system is how you can do that. And how? One second. And how are you going to get the recommendation system to work for you? You have to understand your audience and make videos specific to that content. And to give you a little more evidence on why the recommendation system is so OP and how you can just scale like that, I would like to show you my second channel. My second channel is popping off. My second channel, on average, each views is getting over 1,000. Despite me starting this like two months ago, despite me only having 72 videos, every video I make, I can confidently believe that it's gonna get over 1,000. Do you know why that's the case? Because my audience is a Beyblade audience and I only give them Beyblade. The more specific you can be, the more better signals you can send to the YouTube, al YouTube algorithm. It makes it easier for the algorithm and the recommendation system to push out videos for that specific audience. And that's why the average viewership is already so fucking high. In fact, this second channel is gonna have a higher average video viewership compared to my main channel quite soon. But I don't think that it's going to obviously be higher in monthly viewership. Right now in our main channel, the monthly viewership of our channel is reaching over 1 million per month. And it's because we were able to save and it's this graph is so beautiful, man. I fucking, I cream. I, sometimes late at night, I get so high and I just look at this chart and I'm like, holy fuck. Sometimes when I'm jacking off, I literally have a separate monitor that shows this graph or my Patreon earnings and I look at that number. I love this shit so much, dude. It's fucking crazy what's happening because I was able to unite the audience and give them what they want. And that's what, and we're also pumping up videos on a stupid rate. If we compare the viewership on my second channel right over here, right? If we compare the viewership here, Look at this shit. This is the moment that the Beyblade algorithm hit. The moment that Beyblade algorithm hit, look at the fucking difference and I'm able to maintain this. And the pattern of behavior is, if you're able to satisfy the algorithm and give the people what they want, then every three months roughly, there is a new fucking spike. And I think that will happen with my second channel as well. The average viewership right now is 50K right now per monthly, which is I think a respectable amount for a channel this size for a almost daily upload schedule. I'm very happy with Beyblade, but uh, moral of the story, the better you understand and isolate your audience to a specific niche, the better you can use the recommendation system to get more views on your videos. My main channel is different because this is a horizontally invested variety content channel. It, it's not very accurate, but I make up for that in volume, while my second channel is the exact opposite. It is a very precise, accurate channel. It's very low volume, but because every video is a dub, it's gonna probably get higher viewership on average per video very soon. Next, we have Roche Day Open. So, oh, this is the other, this is the other thing too, bro. Fucking, the fact that Roche Day has a special ending every episode <laughs> means I just get free views on every ending reaction. <laughs> 3.1k? This ending reaction got more views than Oshinoko, dude. What the fuck? Well, come on, man. Like, are you serious? Are you fucking serious? It is what it is, I guess. It's just the nature of the topic, right? People love Roshidere. They eat the shit up. <laughs> SAO, uh, this is the beginning of SAO coming back again. Not a weak arc, but not the most exciting. And we're coming back off of like a month long hiatus. But to be able to get 1.7k, very respectable. Oshinoko. Now, I think Oshinoko is Oshino mid, to be honest. And let's look at it. Let's look at Oshino mid, man. Nah, I'm kidding. Oshinoko is still above average, right? Look at the bar. It's getting 100 more views than anticipated, right? And it's actually amazing that Oshinoko is still getting views despite the content being so boring. Not everyone thinks that fucking theater play and understanding 
how the system works of the different middle managers of the communication process from mangaka to fucking script writer right it's not the most fun content but the adaptation is very engaging for me and i do enjoy watching it and despite it being like a weaker content it's still doing pretty well because oshinoko has a handhold name but it is comparing oshinoko and roshi that it's not even close right and on top of that season two content uh, the problem with season 2 content of any anime is the fact that every time you have a new season, you're filtering out a lot of people. Roshi Dede is a brand new season. Anyone can watch it without having watched the past season because it doesn't exist. The entry, the access of barrier is non-existent. That's why it's more accessible and people love it. That's why it's getting so many views. Oshinoko season 1, it was also a similar case, but now we're in season 2 and a lot of people I think got turned off because there was a murder mystery, which was the four co core focus in season one, along with, you know, the idol lifestyle. But after episode one, people wanted the murder mystery. Yet all they were given was slice of life, you know, fucking drama club. And a lot of people, I think, were genuinely mad that they got baited after episode one and dropped the show. And now that we're going to season two, obviously, there's more filtering. Combine that with a lackluster source material right now in the current arc of, you know, not many exciting content. That's why it's kind of like this... Tier list? Okay, Echidna? Straight up, Echidna has a better taste in anime than Giga. I said it. Mm -hmm. Fuck Giga, bro. I'm a Giga hater. You heard that right. Mm -hmm. Bro, 2x watches anime. And then puts Windbreaker in a tier that actually deserves its rating. But the logic it took to get there? I'm a Giga hater, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm a fucking Giga. I'm not a Giga hater. I just was appalled by his opinion on Windbreaker. Level 2 cheat, I understand why he placed it in D tier after only watching two episodes. It makes sense. Seven Shota? I thought it was really good, but he's probably... The more anime you watch, the more different your taste and opinions of anime becomes. And he's at a different level than me where, I guess, the only thing that really excites him is... Whenever a slice of life... Cunny girl anime does something unique. That's, that's the... That's the, um... Thing that I'm hearing from him, or when I listen to his opinion, it seems like what he really favors, what he really respects, is if an anime does something unique, and it was like not a shonen. <laughs> I don't know. That's what it seemed like based on his past, you know, tearless video. Uh, more Crunchyroll drama, more chibi farming Tower of God videos. It's Tower of God content always does well. Wise man grandchild. It is actually. Crazy how fell how how fast this um show fell off. In fact, let me show you. All right, let me show you the viewership. Let's go to description and type wise man. The fuck? Wise man's I think. Description. What the fuck? Wise. There it is. Let's look at the posted dates, right? In the beginning, bro, 1,168 motherfuckers were here. Shit got near 8.4k. And there is a reason for this. I gave the ultimatum saying, if this shit doesn't get 10k views, I'm fucking dropping, right? It was a, and, and along with it, we were able to farm a lot of drama videos as well, right? There was a fucking freak going around saying that I talk shit about Brothers Yo and his channel and there was a lot of drama videos that I also farms. And there was a lot of trends going on that kind of helped that. But notice the viewership started declining about about here. Yeah, this is the fall off. You can even sell you can even tell from the amount of likes, right? And it makes sense that Again, every episode one is going to do well. And every co consequent episode is probably going to go lower and lower unless it's like a pop-off episode. But it is just like so fucking sad. Look at the viewership. It's just the finale got 1.3k. Like where did everyone go? Where did everyone fucking go from all these people? All these people, man. That's the thing, right? People, the market, the audience will simply behave along their interests. And they thought the wise man was boring near the end and they stopped watching. And there's no problem with that, right? I don't get mad at an audience for not watching a show. That is simply the free market acting on its own. And my job is to adapt to that. And that's why I will ruthlessly drop a show the moment that it starts underperforming. Because just as simple as you're going to stop watching a video, 
I will simply move on to something else and try to make content that you want to watch. There's, it's nothing personal. It has nothing to do with whether I like or don't like a show. It is simply me tracing after a community and understanding what they want. Wise Man fell off so fucking hard near the end. But hey, we barely made it through the cross line, right? We, we barely made it to the finish line. Let's look at this. Uh, look at this here, man. The finale. Minus 300. Minus 200, roughly. It is what it is. It is what it is. Isekai Chikaku was the next video, right? 5.1k views, man. God damn. God damn. This did fantastic. And it's expected because it's episode one of a highly anticipated Isekai. And it was actually pretty fucking good. If we look at the audience tab, again, little to no new viewers. And you know what that means? It means no fucking tourists, baby. I earned this shit. I earned this shit with our community. We fucking popped off. I just hope that it will continue to do well in the future because, you know, everybody gets filtered later on. Next, fucking Giguk, bro. Fucking Giguk. Now, at least he gives us a lot of content for us to react to. The, I want to read the comments here. Seventh Prince needs justice. Giguk said he watched like six episodes, which is before the assassin arc, and then called it bad is sad. It's sad, honestly. Many people stop at episode 6, they don't know the best part starts at episode 7. Giguk's base because he put Girl Band Cry at the top of S tier, which is actually correct. Alright, I guess Girl Band Cry was actually really good. Bro literally didn't complete Tensura and 7th Prince and decided to judge them based on that. Just for Windbreaker 2. I agree, bro. I fucking agree. Dude is like, I don't get the appeal of 7th Prince, but he barely watched the damn thing. Still should have checked out the manga. I get what Giguk means when he says Rudius and Roxy got- Okay, this is Mushoku Tensei, mental illness, I don't want to do that. Living up to the name of their podcast, I see. <laughs> Trash taste. I'm appalled by his placement of level 2 cheat. I think level 2 cheat made sense. Because he only watched two, video two episodes, right? If you watched only two episodes and gave that rating, I would actually agree. I would probably put that shit in D tier. I'm just mad about the logic that took it to Windbreaker. Windbreaker needed justice? I fucking agree. I agree. How did it do for analytics though, though? Nice. Nice. And let's see if it's through. Yep, this is community effort. There's a little bit of new people coming in. Every time I do a Giga content, there is like some new people that comes in, but overall, all community effort effort and through recommendation system. Nice. And then there's a shitload of Tower of God content I was making. Basically, what happens, what happened here is um, every Tuesday is a rest day. While I can stream every day and I can just keep pumping out content, Sir Gregor, my editor, I need to give him a rest day at least once a week so that he can, you know, mentally reset and do something else too. That's why on Tuesdays I reluctantly, not reluctantly, I opt for more YouTube videos rather than anime reactions because what's the point of fucking making, recording anime reaction content if they can't be edited and put onto YouTube? That's why if we're going to be minus, you know, three or two, four on YouTube, then I need to fucking make more YouTube content out of that. All these Tower of God content did decent. And I, I'm, it's going to be interesting how I figure out what kind of new content, YouTube content that I can figure out without doing anime reactions on Tuesdays. Dr. Bonehead really coming in clutch with the, all those old videos to check out. That's pretty good. This is Lolly Leveling, and I think we have now reached the end of weeks worth of content, right? This is Saturday content, right? Yeah, I think that's it. That's it. That's pretty much it. One week's worth of performance reviews. I've told you about all the logic that goes on behind the scenes on what we drop, what we keep, what kind of audience is different, what the metrics I'm looking for. And right now, the anime is dropped is... Osan last? Did we not cover Osan? I guess Osan was Monday, right? Yeah, okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's, there's, there's a little bit more. There, there's, there, there's these videos. Let's do a quick little recap on these, right? Even though, again, Lolly leveling in the beginning did well, it's, it's crazy how it falls off, right? How can an above average show like this immediately fall off like that? It shows that people never actually gave a fuck about it. Raising kids the same way. All these shows immediately drop off after the first couple episodes. Osan Adventure, though, is doing extremely well. And I hope today's episode is going to be amazing as well. Another show that I think that I earn by understanding my core audience exactly. Look at this shit. And that's pretty much it. One week's worth of performance reviews. Hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys stop fucking crying. 
about why I drop shows. All I'm doing is trying to satisfy the majority. Goodbye. See you next week.